Hi everyone, so what I thought I would do today is to look at Dendron in a little bit more detail and to show you some of the things that it can do just to try and get you started. So what I've done is I've downloaded and installed the extension from the website and I've got VS Code up and running and I did the initialize Dendron workspace and I did it without any of the tutorial notes and basically what you get is a root.md file and that's really it. So the quickest way to get started is now just to create a new note and the easiest way that I found to do that is if you do control L this will bring up the lookup window which is really to search for your notes but what it allows us to do if I type for example new page as that page does not exist or as the file does not exist it will give us the option to create this new file and if I just click enter as you can see now on the left hand side we've got root.md as well as the new page.md and what you get when you create a new page, uh, at the top of it, you've got some YAML front matter. You can just ignore that for the time being. And if just beneath that, you just start typing some text in Markdown style format. One more. So as you can see, as I start typing in Markdown and I've got the preview enabled, and just to get the preview enabled, it's just the button here, Markdown Preview Enhanced. And if you click on that, for example, if I close this one and click on it, give it a sec, and it will show up a HTML rendered version as opposed to the Markdown style format that we have on the left-hand side. And one thing that I find very good about Dendron as well is the outline style or the outline option. So as you can see on the bottom right-hand corner here, I've got the outline. And we've got header one, two, and three. So basically, it's just an outline of your headers. And if I do another header one, it brings it in to the to the preview, as well as we've got the on the outline. It's brought it in, and I find this very useful because now what I can basically do is, if I want to go to this page, to this section, I can click on it. If I want to go to this section, I can click on it. And as this note is quite small, it doesn't really show the full power of it, but it does allow you to just jump around your note uh, very easily, uh, and it allows you to get an idea of the content and the sections that are in your notes. So once we've done that, what we can then do is just to create a new note again, Control L. So if I start typing new, so as now uh, it's trying to look up for new, it's found the new page and it's given me an option, do I want to open it or what I can do is create a new page called new. And we'll just ignore that for the time being. And what we'll do is we'll just call it new test. And we want to create this new page. And now we've got the new page in a similar sort of way. We've got the YAML and we can just start typing some text. So that's the easiest way that I found just to bring in some new notes or create some new notes and just start typing. What you can also do though, is create some journal notes or journal pages and to do that if you do control shift i this will create for you a new journal note with today's date so you can see journal daily with today's date and again now what you can do just do is just start start typing as you would on any other note and with tomorrow's date if you do control shift i it will bring up the same note but with the 14th rather than the 13th so now another good thing that Dendron can do is to link between the various different pages. So for example, just on this one, on the Daily Journal page, if I double click the square bracket and I start typing new, as you can see, it brings up the option of the two page names, which start with new. And I can just simply click on it and that will create a backlink to that page. And I will just do the other one as well. So a new test. And now, as you can see, it's brought it up in a link. And what I can do is I can click here on the right hand side, I can click the new page and that will bring me to the new page. Or what I can also do is do control and right click and that will bring me to the page that I click on the link. Or on Windows, what you can also do is do F12 and that will bring me back or bring me to the link that I click. And what I find very useful, if I just create an image. So I've created an images link, but as you can see on the left hand side, there is no images page. So what I can do is I, I now click control and right click or F12. It has now created the images page for me. 
and it's brought in a header for me. Uh, the preview does sometimes take a little bit of time to load, so what I find the easiest thing is if you just click on a different page and click on it again, it will just refresh it. And that's, that's created the page for me from a backlink. What we can also do in Dendron quite easily is some to-dos. So to create a to-do, easiest thing is dash, and then square bracket, space, close square bracket, and what we can do is create to do one. Again, we'll just create a couple. So dash, square bracket, space, square bracket, to do two. I'll just do that space, and we'll create a third one. So now we've got three to do's, and as you can see on the markdown preview, the formatting is not great, but when you look at it on the preview, it comes up as a tick box. So what I can do is I can just tick on to do one if I've completed it, and that will show me the tick. And as you can see on the left hand side, it adds an X. So what I can do is if I want to do it on the markdown format, I can just simply add an X and that will create or click the to do as ticked. And another good thing that you can do is if you do Alt and then up, as you can see now, I've basically rejigged the to do's very easily. So to do three is first, to do one and two. And if instead I don't want to do three, I want that in the middle. Alt and down arrow in this case, and that's shifted it there. And what you can also do is you can do this for blocks. So for example, in this block, I've selected this section and I can do Alt up and that's just shifted it all up. So this is very useful if you want to rearrange your pages or if you do to-dos with high, medium and low priority. It just makes it very easy to make the page as you wish. Another very useful thing is inserting images. So what we can do is, for example, if we go to Google Images and we just search on an image, I can do copy image, go here, and on Windows do Control Shift P, and this will bring up various different options. And if I type paste, I can get the option paste image, click on that one, and that's it basically copied the image in or pasted the image in from the clipboard that which I had saved, and it's created it and it's included it in here. And as you can now see on the left hand side, what we've got under assets and images is we've got the file name that's just been created. So if I do that with another other image, just for example, uh, if we do this one, yeah, right click, copy image, paste image option, and there we go. So it's just brought it in, and as you can see on the left hand side, it's created it um, another file. So what Dendron also allows you to do is to create a graph view. So what Dendron also allows you to do is to create a graph view. And as there won't be uh, much of a graph to see, as there's not many notes in this example, if I just go to another Dendron workspace, which I have open, and I do the Control Shift P on Windows and do Show Graph View, or Show Note Graph, uh, and I can get to that just by typing Show Note, and it'll bring up the option. And if I click on that, what this will show is it will show my notes in a graph view and it's very easy just to show some connections between the different notes. And what I can do is then I can click on, for example, a file called the Dendron Cheat Sheet. If I click on that one, it will go to the file itself and I can click on the preview and I can see the file just from the graph view. So I hope you found that useful. And what we'll do in the next couple of videos is just go into a bit more detail of some more things that Dendron can do to try and make your note-taking life simpler. Thanks very much for watching.